I'm John. I'm Rebecca. And we are good, good to, to know. know. Yay. Yay. All right. We have a new product. I've been asking Rebecca for a uh, some thermometer plug-ins that we can do outside and she can do some inside. So she what did you buy me? I bought you the Easy Barbecue Smart Wireless Barbecue Thermometer. Probe. Yes, it comes with six different probes and a wireless controller. And batteries. you may say, why do you need six? We're yeah. gonna show why you. Why do you need we're six? We're gonna show you when we go. I'm gonna do a. We're not only gonna show you how this product works, and I'm gonna also test it today. So I don't know how many people's actually went out and tested this when they did their reviews, but we are actually we're gonna test this one on yes, some meats. Yes, we needs. are. Uh, before we get any further in, okay. this product is made by Calm Life. We were so happy with the bug zapper or the bug killer that we got yep. with them. We decided to go with them again and order this item. And uh, it comes with a card telling you who it is and tells you about the company, which I really appreciated yeah. that because I like to know who I'm buying from and you know what they're all about. It also comes with a nice uh, instruction manual, little brochure thing with easy pictures that you can follow and find out everything you need, need to, to know have. about this product. Uh, the box was a nice looking box actually. On the back side it gives you more information. They have an app that you can control this whole thing with your phone. And we're going to try to show you guys how to do that too. Okay, what you get with this, you get the, of course, the main monitor and it's also magnetic. Here's the batteries and they're sticking to it. So it does come with the batteries too. There's a, not a whole lot you can control with this. Uh, once you get your Bluetooth set up to it on your phone, everything's controlled by your phone, but you will be able to see the readouts on there. So, and Rebecca's going to do that shortly. It comes with six probes. Now, these probes, man, these are so easy. I took this apart. And I wanted to measure this for you guys so you know how long the cord is. It was 47 and a half inches from uh, the base of the probe. These things just, just pop right in there, man, and put them back and they roll right back up. But from the base of the probe to the base of what you plug in is 47 inches. That's, that's pretty, that's really long, guys. I mean, that's. It's almost, it's a normal size, I would say, anyway. They come color-coded, so when you put these in, and depending on what position you put them in, on the sides, there's three, three positions here, three positions here. Uh, the on and off and control buttons is right on the top. Not only is it magnet, it has a little kick-up, it has a little kick-up stand where you can set it up. So, but depending on what slot you put it in, it'll have the number and the color. Uh, and I know this is a good to know channel, but we also are a cooking channel. So we really needed these. I have a big um, industrial cooker outside that I sometimes cook a lot of meats in. So that's perfect for us. But anytime you do any cooking, you could use up to to four to five probes depending on what you're doing just regular barbecue and, and it also comes with this little clip you can you put your probe in here you set your probe in here on this clip and then you set the clip on the grill grate and it'll just sit there and it'll tell you the temperature of your grill even if you have a thermometer on it it'll give you what what you're right where your food's sitting It'll tell you what the temperature of the grill is, so that's good to know too. Show them how the black thing comes off. Yeah, and the and this the little black thing, uh, man, this thing's just just pop in there just like that, and this roll. I'll put one back together. We'll pull this out. Basically, this comes off just like that. It only goes on one way, so you pop it back in. And you just stay on this side and you just wind it back up 
and the thing about this is when you get to the end of winding this up you say well is that end going to poke out and then it's all going to come unwind no they were smart enough to make this Where this just pushes in and it'll stick no matter where you're at on this thing and it'll hold it in there. It comes with little rubber caps on the it's top. Freezing all the way up to um, if you're continuously have it plugged into a piece of meat it'll go all the way up to 716. If you're just probing it'll go all the way up to 572. And at 716 on a piece of meat you have charcoal. You will have charcoal. You'll know it's done. <laughs> so all right so let's go ahead and move this right along to Rebecca and we'll be right back. Oh, wait a minute. He's going to put some batteries gonna in. I'm going to show you where the batteries go real quick. Just the bottom pops out. Spring to the flat end. Spring to the flat end. And it snaps right back in. There you go. Just like that. So while Chef John, so while John was talking, I went ahead and I went to my Google Play Store and I searched for Easy Barbecue. So it's Easy BBQ, all, like it's all one word. And the first one that came up was the one I selected, and it was the right one. So it was uh, just real quick and easy. So I've got it installed on my phone, and I just need to pair it by Bluetooth with this device. My Bluetooth is turned on. So I'm going to hit start on here, and all I need is power to the device. Press the button on my device once. I don't know which button. On top. On right top. top. There we go. And it's done. Wow. See how quack, how, how quack. How, See how quacky quick, that how was. How quack that was. <laughs> that was really quick. So it says, congratulations, you have successfully activated your device. So now all we have to do is get something to cook. And we can check Set it on our my temperatures. phone. I'm going to also install this on his phone. So if he wants to do this while I'm not home, he can do it. He's a little bit skeptical of using any kind of app. So we're going to do this. And if it's easy for him to do, then we know it's easy for you to do. All right. We've got our Bluetooth wireless uh, thermometer set up. I've got the third position. I'm going to take the... Uh, the internal temperature of the grill. We're going to set Rebecca's on first. And that's going to be the number one position, which is well done. The orange. We're going into the biggest part of the meat right there. Mine on. There's the yellow temperature. And we're going again right into the center part of the meat. And we're going to close her up. Check on, open it back up. Okay, because that top grate hit the uh, orange part on mine, on the probe. Up. Okay. Don't want a probe hitting. That's right. I'll go in that way at it. Woohoo! Your probe can hit all at once. Okay, okay. I'm going to show that part. All right, this one is just going through. It's, um, what do you call it? Cycling through. Cycling through. The first one, that's the last one. First one, second one, and third one. And this is our one on our phone. That's Rebecca's at 68, mine's 66. And it's coming up to um, 135 inside. It should get up a little over 200 once it's all settled down. And there we go. Just thought I'd show you this. We're sitting in our house. Um, the first one, which is Rebecca's, it's running on 79 degrees. Uh, mine's 81 degrees. The grill internal temperature of the grill is right at 250 and it is about 
two o'clock, so right, we're doing pretty good. This is what our thermometer worked great, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you a little something about this when we cook this. Um, I took mine off at 125, and I just brought it inside because Rebecca wanted hers well done to 180. Mm -hmm. So what happened after I brought mine in, luckily this thing alarmed me and told me that it was getting very high, it was getting above was trying to cook between 250 and 300 and it told me we were going above that so I went out there and looked and where I had made my snake one had rolled off and got the other side going so I had two ends burning and too much it's too much heat yep. so what I did is put all the coals to one side and moved Rebecca's over to the other side and cracked the lid and watched the monitor until it cooled down to between it was about um, 280 it stayed right in there so uh, cooked perfect they looked beautiful both of them he kept so, coming in saying I really like this yeah thank you the, this is great these are work look these are not dishwasher safe make sure you read the instructions on these it picked up wonderful my grill is way out there so I had a strong signal the whole time in the house. Uh, if anything it did else better than the built-in Bluetooth on our um, master, master built. Yeah, master built. It has um, uh, alarm that'll go off if, it, if anything gets too low, too high, or if you set an alarm. Uh, See, the, the batteries in this will last about 200 hours, according to the book. Yep, 200 hours. And each part of this has a different heat level so make sure you do read that read instruction yeah read manual. your instructions don't get this rubber part in the flames keep it off the grill grate this worked perfect I stuck it on my grill grate and that's what told me the temperature yeah. of the grill where everything was cooking so this worked perfect um, let's see what else about this um, our set has six probes you can get them at, at with two, four, or six, and we paid about fifty-seven ninety-nine for this item. And of course, we got free shipping because we yep. are Prime, and uh, I think it's well worth it. It's uh, it's just it's great because it really took the thought process. Out the gas of work it. out. Yes, of that's what on. I was trying to say. And it kept me from keep going out there and probing and poking holes in in the meat. And all it the juice is running out. Hot out there today. Uh, like I said, you can always have an extra probe plugged in here just to confirm your settings. Uh, you can stick it in there just to make sure you can. Or if you had something on small on the side cooking that you really didn't want to probe in, but you did want to check it, it'll do that too. If you don't like the settings that they have, say you want a well done like Rebecca did, it went up to one. It it, it was going to alarm at 170. There's up in the right hand corner of your app, there's a little edit, you know, with the little pencil inside the square. You hit that, you take the temperature up to what you want, and then right there where you hit the edit, there'll be a check. Hit that, preset for you. And easy, 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 easy. The easy. app is free, and so are yep. all the upgrades, are the updates on it. And, and look at this beautiful meat that man. it produced. Yes. It's awesome. hot out there, and I mean, just think, I'll be sweating out there going to check this making sure everything's all right or I'd had to sit out there and tend it. So. Right, so I also want to tell you, you know, some people just don't like building a charcoal fire yeah. or, or a wood smoke fire and then kind of wasting it because if all they're doing is a steak or whatever. So with this, you could also have a chicken out there, you could yeah. have ribs or sausage, you could do different kinds of meats and have a probe in each one so you know when each one gets finished. Yeah. It's awesome. All right. So we we're gonna have a link to this down into the, the box again. Yeah. We're gonna have a link to this easy barbecue pro down in the show more for Amazon. Uh, if you click on that link, uh, if you want to purchase it, we do get a little uh, feedback off, a little money off that, but it's no cost to you. Excuse me. It's no cost to you. Uh, of you buying it there. It's going to be the same price for you whether you buy it from us or them. We just hope for watching our review that you would buy it from our link. Right? Now the only thing we did not like is uh, we thought that it should come with a 
a box, little more sturdier you know, something, container something to hold it. keep it in other than this cardboard. So I took an old um, a Rubbermaid index or a CD box, and that's what we're going to keep this keep in. in. And that yeah, because there's so many together. parts to this, it needs to stay together, and the, the, the box will not last over time. But um, other, th other than the box, the product works perfect. Yes. So we're very pleased with it. I've been wanting one of these, and she <laughs> bought me one. So thank y'all. Once you get to using it and you use you, uh, your app, it's you know, easy. Fall in love easy. Just it. play with it a little bit and see what you got going it's on. It's going to make you an expert. Well, actually, it's going to make you a, a barbecue pro. pro. All right. Again, we'll leave the link down at the bottom. We want to thank everybody who watched this. Um, you are John. I'm John, and I'm, I'm Rebecca. Rebecca. And we, we are, are good, good to know. know. Make sure you follow along at the bottom and come back soon. Come back. Join us. It's free. Bye. Bye.